Hello and welcome back to Battles History. Today, we are going to discuss the Battle of White Mountain, which took place in 1620 AD. This was one of the most significant battles of the Thirty Years' War, and it had a profound impact on the history of Europe. The battle was fought between the Protestant forces of Bohemia and the Catholic armies of the Holy Roman Empire. This clash of ideologies would ultimately shape the course of history, and it serves as a reminder of the power that religion can hold over politics and warfare. In this video, we will explore the events leading up to the Battle of White Mountain, the tactics employed by both sides, and the aftermath of the conflict. Before we dive into the battle itself, it's essential to understand the events that led up to it. The Thirty Years' War was a religious conflict that raged across Europe from 1618 to 1648. It was fought primarily between the Catholic forces of the Holy Roman Empire and the Protestant nations of Europe. At the heart of the conflict was the struggle for power between these two religious factions. The roots of the conflict can be traced back to the Reformation which began in the early 16th century. The Protestant movement emerged as a response to the perceived corruption and excesses of the Catholic Church. The Protestant churches rejected the authority of the Pope and instead placed their faith in the Bible and individual conscience. The Catholic Church, in turn, saw the Protestant movement as a direct threat to its authority and sought to suppress it by any means necessary. The conflict between these two factions came to a head in Bohemia in 1618. The Bohemian Revolt began as a protest against the Catholic Habsburgs, who had been imposing their authority on the Protestant population of the region. The Bohemian Estates, which represented the Protestant nobility, rose up in rebellion and elected Frederick V, Elector Palatine, as their king. The Bohemian Revolt quickly escalated into a full-scale conflict, as Catholic armies from across Europe rallied to the Habsburg cause. In November 1620, the two sides met on the field of battle at White Mountain, just outside Prague. The Protestant forces were vastly outnumbered and outgunned, with around 15,000 soldiers compared to the Catholic army's 25,000. The Catholic army was led by Charles Bonaventure de Longueville, Count of Buckoy, a veteran commander who had fought in many of the major battles of the era. Buckhoy was a master of siege warfare, and he had brought with him a vast array of artillery pieces. The Protestant army, on the other hand, was led by Christian of Anhalt, a relatively inexperienced commander. The battle began with a bombardment of the Protestant positions by the Catholic artillery. The Protestant army was dug in on the slopes of the White Mountain, with their backs to the forest. The Catholic army had the advantage of higher ground which allowed them to rain down fire on their opponents. The Protestant army was quickly forced to retreat further down the slopes, where they were even more exposed to the Catholic artillery. Despite the overwhelming odds, the Protestant forces fought bravely. They launched a series of counterattacks against the Catholic army, hoping to break their lines and turn the tide of the battle. However, the Catholic army was well-trained and well-disciplined, and they were able to repel the Protestant assaults with ease. As the battle wore on, the Catholic artillery continued to pound the Protestant positions. The Protestant army began to suffer heavy casualties, and their morale began to falter. The Catholic cavalry then launched a devastating charge against the Protestant lines, shattering their formations and causing chaos and confusion. Despite the valiant efforts of the Protestant soldiers, they were eventually overwhelmed by the Catholic army. The battle ended in a resounding victory for the Catholic forces, with over 4,000 Protestant soldiers killed and many more taken prisoner. The Catholic losses were relatively light, with only around 700 soldiers killed. The Battle of White Mountain was a significant turning point in the Thirty Years' War. It marked the beginning of the end for the Protestant cause in Bohemia and set the stage for the wider conflict that would engulf Europe for the next three decades. Following their victory at White Mountain, the Catholic armies marched into Prague and reasserted their authority over the city. 
The Protestant nobility were stripped of their lands and titles, and many were forced to flee the country. Frederick V, the Protestant king of Bohemia, was deposed and exiled. The Catholic Habsburgs now had a firm grip on Bohemia, and they used their victory to launch a wider campaign against the Protestant nations of Europe. The Battle of White Mountain also had a profound impact on the course of European history. It marked the beginning of the decline of the Holy Roman Empire, which had been weakened by years of conflict and internal division. It also marked the rise of the French and Swedish empires, which would emerge as major powers in the years to come. The battle also highlighted the importance of artillery in modern warfare. The Catholic army's superior firepower proved to be a decisive factor in their victory, and it demonstrated the need for armies to adapt to this new form of warfare. The Battle of White Mountain was also a brutal reminder of the impact that religious conflict can have on society. The war had begun as a protest against the perceived injustices of the Catholic Church, but it quickly escalated into a full-scale conflict that claimed the lives of thousands of soldiers and civilians. It serves as a warning of the dangers of religious extremism and the need for tolerance and understanding in a diverse society. In conclusion, the Battle of White Mountain was one of the most significant battles of the Thirty Years' War, and it had a profound impact on the history of Europe. The conflict between the Catholic and Protestant factions had been brewing for decades, and the battle marked the beginning of a wider conflict that would engulf Europe for the next three decades. The battle demonstrated the importance of artillery in modern warfare and highlighted the need for armies to adapt to this new form of warfare. It also served as a brutal reminder of the impact that religious conflict can have on society and the need for tolerance and understanding in a diverse society. The Battle of White Mountain was a turning point in the history of Europe, marking the rise of the French and Swedish empires and the decline of the Holy Roman Empire. It serves as a reminder of the power that religion can hold over politics and warfare and the need for societies to find peaceful and diplomatic solutions to their differences. Thank you for joining us on this journey through history, and we hope you enjoyed learning about the Battle of White Mountain. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Battles History for more content on some of the most epic conflicts of all time.